Thank you. Thank you, Rudyard, and thank Bloomberg for the opportunity to speak out uh, for 30 million Venezuelans that, that have been hijacked by an international criminal organization. My utmost uh, concern is uh, the violation of civil rights, which uh, has uh, degraded into a widespread of uh, committing crimes against humanity. These are atrocity crimes such as rape, torture, which uh, the OAS has established in the third report. Also, the UN High Commissions for Human Rights has uh, clearly established a, a, a breach and violation of the uh, fundamental principles of the United Nations Charter, specifically and particularly, I would have to say, the uh, second pillar of human rights. And uh, I, I think humanity uh, itself should be concerned about this situation right now, Rudyard. Given the seriousness of what you've just laid out, why isn't military intervention of some sort to topple the Maduro government before this crisis gets worse and before more abuses are perpetrated? Why is that not the right thing for the United States or other governments in the region to consider? Well, the other way around, I think it's the correct thing to do. It's a humanitarian, very profound humanitarian crisis and it's, it's very justifiable, not only for the Venezuelan people that have been suffered uh, this crisis for the last four months. We have seen more than 120 people murdered. We've seen 6,000 illegal arrests, 600 political prisoners. And not only that, I do believe it's a, a risk, a threat of international peace and security. And this is what I, th I believe uh, the United States and, and other countries uh, are thinking about when they talk about humanitarian intervention supported by military force. But Isaiah, are you concerned by the fact that even today the Maduro government has been using the threat of military intervention to shore up support and that there is a constituency of your fellow Venezuelans who rightly are pretty cynical and pretty turned off at the idea of the United States of all countries intervening in their internal affairs. Why isn't what you just set out playing into the Maduro government's propaganda strategy? Yes, uh, well, of course, it is a, a propaganda strategy like you have uh, correctly pointed out. But what I do believe that it's very important to understand is that an international criminal organization does not have the same agenda or interest like any other sovereign state. And therefore, they will play out any uh, gaslight uh, policy to try to divert or utilize a very serious uh, situation and concern for the population as a joke or a mocking. They have actually given um, medals to the sanctioned people. And uh, you must say, and, and perhaps it's very important to highlight uh, the source of uh, when I uh, describe them as an international criminal organization. And you can see within the sanctions, the U.S. sanctions, that they have focused on four areas. Corruption, money laundering, drug trafficking, and terrorist ties. Yeah, those are serious charges. Just finally, Isaiah, so I want to ask you a question I asked uh, our Bloomberg reporter off the top. You know, if you think of the fall of regimes in uh, the former Eastern Europe that were under uh, communist rule, they fell because of mass public unrest, mass public demonstrations. Why are we not seeing hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans out in Caracas and cities across Venezuela calling for this government to fall? Well, we have seen the very uh, uh, huge mass uh, manifestations, but the asymmetrical and disproportionate use of force by the Maduro's regime, having killed and shot 120, uh, uh, most of them students, that are the heroes of change, the resistance. Uh, of course, normal citizens are very uh, afraid and threatened in their own houses. And Maduro has even used armed paramilitary groups uh, for state terrorism, shooting civilians even in their houses. Uh, I do believe that they will wait for the right signal and welcome uh, military intervention to support uh, international humanitarian um, intervention with open arms. They're just waiting for the right, mi mi the right signal to come out.